I'm getting the strangest sense of deja vu. Another episode opening with half a colony in the hospital having been burned by mechanoids. And then, as if some sort of sick, twisted cosmic joke, our people are recovering. They send boom rats. I will not forget this transgression against, against middle management. I can't believe you've done this. Whilst Frog has gotten fat on her on her blood. It's I mean, metaphorical, you know, like she's like a decadent empress. The private prison with a private blood supply. And now with a grand palace to go along with her 14 yeos a day, she can no longer be trusted to run this colony. There is one man, one machine, who can run this place as is needed. How else are you going to defeat machines except with other machines? We're going to implement the dog reforms, which is uh, very simple, actually. Slightly less drugs, slightly more materials to craft armor with. <laughs> <laughs> kill them. Please kill them. For God's sake, I can't deal with any more fireballs. Kill them all! No more combat music! That wasn't a boom rat, that was a regular rat. Oh, well, I mean, they're all regular rats now. Plan is very simple. We're moving away from Yeah, We're going to scan for resources, drill for resources, and then craft the stuff we need to not die horribly in a fire from those resources. Stone skin glands for the whole colony. And apparently, uh, someone in the comments yesterday said that steel foam turrets are manually operated, which is just about the worst thing I've ever heard. You know what mod I miss? A mod that would make this whole experience just so much nicer when we're running. It's defensive positions. Wow, it's like you read my mind or something. <gasps> well, is that what I think it is? Dog. Dog, my friend. Oh, an excellent mech lord helmet. Because, of course, the last thing we needed to get for it was from the Apocriton that we almost got you wiped out by yesterday. Oh, my boy. Oh, my boy, Doug. Like, show me. Show me your fancy hat. <laughs> he does look like a peacock. <laughs> what do we need for the mech lord suit? Two nanostructure and chips, one power focus. So, what is that? Two more Apocritons? And one of the Diablos, right, for the power focus chip. Could be a queen. Well, what can be someone with this one? That's another queen, right? Uh, just give me a moment. Give me a moment to steal myself before this happens again. Oh, somebody said in the comments that apparently the... Uh, it's a small mechanoid, isn't it? That the paramedics have... <gasps> it could jump into emergency situations and it's built in fire foam popper. Can extinguish fires. We need high subcores for it. We need to rip the brains. Oh my god. What if that who stole our hope gives us hope back? Oh! We barely had time to breathe. Come on. Ooh, another charge rifle. Ooh, an excellent quality charge rifle. Oh, I've reinstalled the old turret out here. I completely forgot about that. Oh, that's good. Hey, hello. Just, uh, just to distract me a bit, take a bit of fire. Uh, uh, literally, apparently. You've sent fire-breathing people! <laughs> Why would Ludion Studios do this? Randy Rimmer? Get there. Uh, we do have to- we have to manual- Must be activated by a colonist. What- how does that happen? Oh, when there's a- when there's a fire. You click order activation and then they flick the switch and then it fires? Who could have predicted a DLC that added 20 new fire-breathing enemies would have? ways of fighting fire. Who could have predicted that a DLC that adds new ways of fighting fire would make fire a real problem? <laughs> Boil and die. Boil and die. Kill them. Kill them now. Kill them all. Kill them all. I'm taking your genes. I will be the one that breathes fire. I will be the fire breather now. Honestly, I think we're in one of those situations right now where any non-mechanoid raid is going to get utterly destroyed. And then any mechanoid raid is just going to destroy us. Oh, you are in for a horrible shock. Yeah, don't mind the bodies. <laughs> what genes have you got? Uh, fire spew. Oh, that's good. Fire resistant. Are they all? They are all. They're all fire resistant because they're imps, right? Uh, impid. Fire resistant. Fire resistant. The chance of us actually getting a fire resistant gene from a whole race of people who only have fire resistant people, I'd say, is fairly significant. Doug, get down here. Can we implant that into, say, frog? And make the... Nah, that's not what I meant to do. And make the uh, the generally very flammable vampire. Can we override that with a fire resistant? That would be amazing. Get them captured. I don't think we're going to get many. But we should get quite a few from this. I think we'll probably get about four or five if we're lucky. It said something when I tried to capture Vasox. Oh. Vasox is unwaveringly loyal to their home and will refuse to be recruited entirely. You can see whether someone is unwaveringly loyal by selecting them. That's really interesting. Resistance, unwavering loyalty. Oh, interesting. 
I'm going to be honest with you. I don't give a shit about your loyalty. That's not why you're here. Take a look at some of that incredible unwavering loyalty. We make dog fireproof. We make frog fireproof. We make dog's child bobka fireproof. We should probably bury. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it will discover the secrets of fireproofing my people. If it's the last thing I ever do. Claude Dog, if you please. I think we'll take a free Lancer. I mean, it's not free. It costs us a fortune there, blue. A little blue mechanoid to go with our little blue militer. I would have to decide on a color scheme for them. I mean, red would make them go faster. Everybody knows that. How are our resources looking, seeing as we've swapped over? Still no steel. Still no bloody steel, even now. Um, I could turn off the plasteel drills. Let's go ahead and cancel that one. And... Fireproof. What is it? Weak melee damage. Put it back. Put, put them back. Put them back. Put them back. I don't care if it'll kill them. Put them back. Oh, we've got enough resources. Let's go back to the other plan. Insert. Gross. Rip scanning gross will kill her. It's a it's a kind mercy at this point, I think. Just imagine that one day you and your fellow pig people go out on a raid as you've done for centuries. You decide to attack the new people on the planet. And oh, you managed to kill one who was just out in a field by herself for some reason. Very lucky shot. Next thing you know, you wake up in a prison. Your arms, your legs, your liver, your lungs, they're all taken away. Your nose is taken, your ears, your eyes, your tongue. And then, then one day, they carry you off. You feel for the first time ever something. The wind on your face. Feel the rumbling up through the floor. You can't hear it, of course. You haven't got any ears. And then the coldness. The coldness. All you have to do is hand over the fireproof. Fire spew. Fire resistant! I was about to finish the sentence by saying, and we'll let you live, but um, I've rescinded that. <laughs> oh. Gross's brain has been destroyed by the subcore rip scanner. How unfortunate. Chuck her in the pond. We recombine. Fire spew, fire resistant. We got long jump legs. We stole that from um, the other vampire, didn't we? Partial anti-toxic lungs, high libido. Tox immunity. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, we, are any of these great cooking? I mean, this is going to frog. So actually, that seems pretty good. Strong melee, fine. I think she's already got strong melee, though, as a vampire, right? I'll double check that. She already has good melee, if I'm not mistaken, right? So we don't need that one. We'll take that one off of the menu. I saved the template, you see, because I'm very clever. Ah, we'll get rid of that one. Everything else, though, is fine. Her metabolic efficiency is uh, going to be right shit up, but that's fine. Start the combination. The total metabolism of the cytogen must be minus 5 or higher, but it's currently minus 15. Metabolic efficiency. Oh, oh, we've got to give some negatives. Ah, we don't necessarily need that or that. <laughs> to be fair, we don't need anti-toxic lungs if we've got toxic immunity. I'll be honest, I wanted to give her the, the, the libido. Fire spew, fire resistant, and toxic immunity. We don't need great cooking. We don't need great cooking. Now we just got to give her a, a minus one. Oh, sorry, a plus one. Weak melee damage. She's never going to melee anyone. Fine. Start the combination. Till an if you could... Begin the sequence for us. That would be amazing, my friend. And there we have the Xenogerm. Can Frog just Frog just stick that in herself then? Hang on. Will that, re will that remove her vampire powers? In plastic, Xenogerm will overwrite existing Xenogenes. Overwrite existing Xenogenes? Do you mean that it will, say, get rid of fire... Fire susceptibility and replace it with the strong one? Or will it just straight up remove Sanguophage? Oh, no. Um, I need to test this on someone else first. Now, let's try installing that one into, say, um, Coolbacker, for example. We'll just give it to you. And then we'll see if that replaces your already existing Xenogenes, whether they just add in combination, which I presumed is how it would work. Simultaneously, I don't want to ruin, like, all of Frog's character, just to make her fireproof. Wait, are you lot supposed to be dead? Hey? Gene lost shock. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, hang on. What? <laughs> I thought I killed them when you ripped their jeans again. No. What the hell's going on with that, I wonder? No! Oh, a lot of bugs again. Holy crap, Lancer. Start firing, though. And don't worry if you get bitten by the insect. Don't worry, it's okay. Because as we're all well aware, you can just coagulate. Or in this case, upsy, upsy daisy vampire healy power. Um... Just blast that on. Who, who looks injured here? Flight, you look pretty injured. There you go. Oh, you're just injured from the other raid. Uh, here you go. Shit. I love that it says cannot use and then you quite clearly still use it. There you go. Two wounds healed. Who else needs healing? That was it. All right. Well, never mind. 
There's the one time I'm going to remember to use it. I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. <laughs> she can use it on herself. She can use it on herself. She can't use it on herself. Well, I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. <laughs> okay. For science, here we are. We implant that into Kulbaka. Yes. I I assuming I'm right, you keep that. No, it replaces everything. Ooh. I mean, I'm not complaining, given that Kulbaka is one of our best fighters. So having her no longer have Delicate and also being fire resistant is, is utterly fine with me. That's okay. That's really honestly fine. I guess you're just like a regular person now. I guess we'll move you up there. Xenotype is just fireproof. Yeah, I, I, I'll just stick you up there and away from all the other nerds. But we've learned a valuable lesson. You can't make a fireproof vampire. I mean, I, I understand why that, that's a reason for purely balancing purposes. To take away the only downside to vampires would be a bit silly. <laughs> Get me another set of marine armor. We've got ourselves a mighty warrior now. Oh, little baby Bubka has reached the ripe old age of 10. They grow so fast. Traits, jealous, kind, and too melee. Wow, you are going to be a... You're going to be a fantastic colonist, baby Bobka. And to save us from the fire mechs, there it is. Little paramedic droid. Hello there. What If we drop you up, what can we can... Oh. Release a fire retardant foam in the circular area. A cooldown of five days. Actually, that's not bad. Especially if you had a big crew of them as well. That's really nice. And I know exactly what to call you. I'm going to call you gross. I mean, I'm not going to give it to Frog. But I feel like we should definitely do something with the, with the Xenogerm. Fire immunity and toxic immunity alone are 10 out of 10. I think I've got to give it to Doug, right? Redid all the storage as well to make it slightly less of um, <laughs> slightly less of a nightmare. Or instead of burning, would I just give it as gifts to these people? Oh, I'm sold. Easy. Oh, what have you got there? Oh, they're ours. <laughs> I was like, oh, implants. Great. Locust armor marine armor would save us crafting some more. Locust armor could be quite nice too. What is that? Perfect immunity. Oh, sold? I mean, that seems like a uh, it seems like a pretty easy one. Thank you. I might give that to Dog. Immune to toxins, disease, and fire. That would be amazing. Hey, you know, I'm feeling generous. There you go. Have some of that. We're now allied with Nellium. You're welcome. I'm gonna blast some yeah over to some other people too. Let's actually get some allies here. Allied with the Empire. Doesn't really do a massive amount for us, given that we still need, you know, permits and whatever to trade with them, but that's fine. And then we'll blast this other one over to the Fuedis Coalition. Those are the Neanderthals. They famously love Yeo. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to do it. I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's put let's put the, the, the secret rest area over there where she's more vulnerable. Put it in a big old castle and we'll stick the throne in here. And now the throne's off center. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, well, how did I miss that? Look right there. There's a, there's a two by two thrown right there that seems to be covered in skulls. Seems very appropriate. Oh, the only problem is we can't actually take skulls, despite the fact that our ideology and his pain is virtually gone in for a sadist. You think they'd be up for taking skulls off of people? What is the con? What is the contest of organization? Hello? Contest of organization. Uh oh, it's a gladiator jewel. Oh shit. Participating roles. Duty manager. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. And we've got the flesh carving. Right, of course, because we're sadists now. I mean, Dog's always been masochist. He's probably always been up for that. That's not that far away from, uh, you know, where we started. Everybody line up. Goddamn insects. You know what we need? Raids of actual fleshy people that I can steal the brains from to make more mechanoids. Little fellas here taking the hits, like the militant taking the hit there instead of... Hang on. I've got the perfect thing for you. Don't panic. Uh, Upsy Daisy Vampire Healing Power. Go. Go. Fix him. Roan. Roan, hold on. Good as new. There you go. Damn, that shit's really powerful, huh? All you have to do is give it a silly name, and I'm I'm all ears. <laughs> and then with that, we've got all of our uranium turrets done. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, these need manning manually, don't they? We might as well get rid of them. Fine. I mean, that's getting a little close to the base, isn't it? I mean, this is the pollution I'm talking about. That's getting a little bit close to... Hitting some of our farms. This time around, I'm not going to go Mad Pollution Man. But a Mad Pollution series is absolutely on the cards for the future, I think. And those just sit there and suck up pollution. Oh, that's pretty easy. Oh, that's way better than I thought. I thought there would be some other downsides to that. Five Stones King Glands. Is that another one you're working on? Oh, my God, Roan. I, I mean, I was debating who to give it to. But let's, uh, let's, not, let's not worry about it. Let's just give it to absolutely everybody. And then the next time we call on those mechanoids... They don't stand a goddamn chance. Full marine armor, massive heat damage reduction. We got frogs, brand new vampiric power. Oh, I didn't even call them in. 
Hero of their own accord. Hello there. Please don't be flamey centipedes. Oh, I mean, they're not flamey centipedes, but they're still centipedes. Ah, that fella's gonna punch through my walls. I don't like that. Well, let's see if all this marine armor and all of these stones get there, but they're gonna be still under anesthetic, right? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> if it's gonna stand there, we might be able to snipe it for. Oh, it's just gonna annihilate these walls. Oh, God. The, the Empire's come to back us up. Oh, my lord. Well, that was unexpected. Um, how are you two doing? Hi. T hello. How are you going? Uh, let's, let's shoot those. Let's shoot those. The Empire. How many did they send? <laughs> wow. Okay, there's been a change of plan. We're gonna run and cower, and we're gonna let the Empire deal with this for us. Oh, great little answer. I told you these were worth it. Okay, the Empire are quite far away. Quite far away, but hopefully they'll get here before the mechanos do too much damage. Oh, I don't like that. That's the worst building for you to be shooting at. I'm going to try. Oh, it might be a bit late. I'm going to try popping out, shooting the termite. Oh, just shoot anything. Just get their attention. Please don't go in there. Nice. Chelia, back off, back off, back off. You had a shield. Oh, my God, you had a shield. Here come the Empire. Okay. Oh, my God, that Yeo paid off. That Yeo absolutely paid off. Here they are. My good friends. Right, as soon as they start taking some aggro, we'll head out there and just, just shoot. The centipedes are focused on them. We go out, do whatever damage we can. This is going to be amazing. What a team. What a squad. Corporation, Empire, Unity. Ah, uh, Psycho, piss off. Go indoors. Oh, careful. <laughs> be careful there. What is that? What was that? Was that Doomsday Rocket Launcher? All you did was kill your friends. Bro, we've got to we've got to have a chat about friendly reinforcements turning up with turning up with doomsday rocket launchers. That's not okay. You can't do that. They've done more damage to the actual empire. They've done more damage to the actual empire. Oh! My freaking genetics lab! Please, 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 please. Shit! Okay, well that's not that could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. Is that a free mono sword? Hello? Oh, it's not even bio-coded, you fools. Um, let's pick our Imperial allies up. Bring it on. Let's see what you've got. You became an adult. We've watched your whole life story. Oh, Brawler. Oh, you're so bad. 13 is considered an adult in RimWorld. My god. There's no wonder the Reddit looks like it does. I presume there's no benefit to just keeping Bubka in there now. Do you, do you still gain skills or shall I, or shall I take you out? That learning 56%. Oh, it still it still goes on. Okay. Well, you're you're in there then. Hello. Some new armor for Doug, I suppose. I uh, I will wait a minute. I would say Oh, I'll cool back up. Okay, let's let's draft up now. Ooh, new mechanoids. Hello, what are you? Tunneler. Uh are you gonna Are you gonna dig through my walls? Is that what I'm hearing right now? Because I don't I don't like the sound of that. Oh, nope, apparently not. Tragically, the uh, depressing American suburb will stand for another day. <laughs> oh no, please don't knock down this hideous housing. Oh, what a, te what a terrible shame. Oh my god. Is the War Queen just gonna send... Just gonna send loads of little fellas? Or is there a limit to how many she can spawn? I guess it's it's down to the, the steel. Well, that's gonna be a fun first wave. Good god, look at them all. There's so many. Uh, let's draft you up. And let's draft you up. You know what? Maybe we could... <sighs> Maybe we could use the lancers to bait some fire. Sorry to do this, little guys. Here they come. Here comes the swarm. Please kill them, please kill them, please kill them. Oh, shit. I'd really like you to start fight focusing fire on those other mechanoids. At this point, we got to kill that thing. We have to kill that thing. No, no, no. You have to kill that. You have to kill that. Oh, lasers. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay. Oh, here comes the other one. Kill that one too, please. Shit, shit. Kill it, kill it. Horrible fire mechanoids. Not here. Not here. We're done with you now. It's a good start. That's a good start. Pikemen, obviously, absolutely nothing. They're going to get dropped in no time. Unless we can't see them, at which point that could be a bigger problem. <laughs> Remember when I said, oh, we'll put sandbags down there. It won't be an issue. Yeah, good one. Uh, oh, they are pushing up through. Lancer, hold the line. Braver than Lancer. Uh, let's, let's get you back and see if we can bait them up a little bit further. But we can see them from there. That's okay. Just got to watch out for friendly fire from our own slug turret. But honestly, they're doing fine. What about those things? Oh, man, I, I don't know why. I just presumed the tunnels would be super, super tanky, but they're not. Given that they're melee again, right? But nothing to them. And finally, the War Queen. It's all that's left. Man, that was that was good. That was a bloody good raid. That was easy as hell. Turns out when you know what the mechanoids do, it's not a problem. I mean, yes, I could pause the game and raid them. Uh, that's also a coward's tactics. There's no pausing in war. 
This is real life. So the control sublink uses the power focus chip. I'm going to pause that because I want the armor first. I want to get that mech lord suit. So we've got the power focus chip. We just need two nano structure and chips. And I think those were both from... Uh, I think those are both from the, the spooky one, right? The Diabolus? So, uh, not the Diabolus. The Apocritons. That's it. Um, was it we needed two of those? Right? I think it was two. Oh, I hate fighting these things. I mean, to be fair, the Apocritons themselves aren't really the problem. It's the bloody other mechanoids that come with them, apparently. Go for it. Just summon it right away. Oh, hang on. Uh, well, Diabolus is going to turn up with the Apocriton, right? That's fine. 10 milliliters, 6 Scyther. Oh, that's going to be piss easy. That might be the easiest one yet. Hello. How are you all doing? Oh, good. Oh, good. I mean, the militants aren't a problem. They're, they're, they're big baby time. Oh, mini turrets. Oh, sweet mini turrets. At least you're trying. <laughs> oh, my God. We're out of uranium. Oh, shit. Okay, well, all the slugs are going to be... Can I can I tell them to hold fire until the Apocrit song gets here instead? That might be a better idea. Hey! Stop moving the menu. I still don't quite know whether it's better just to try and punch through the big guy or just try and bait out all those resurrections first. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can kill you first. You fool. You've just killed your own mechanoids. Yes! Yes! <laughs> what a fool. No! The robot! We can resurrect it. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Just kill that. Maybe that will also take out the Diabolus. Oh, it stunned it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, I really would rather be shooting that right now, but that's fine. Use your vampire Healy power. Shit! Oh my god, it's back up. I panicked. I panicked. I panicked. Move over. Uh, oh, you, you are definitely going to get hit there, aren't you? Move. Go up and around. Go up and around, for God's sake. In Prometheus school. Careful. Fine, fine. Acceptable, acceptable. That should be okay. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. Kill the big man. It was not acceptable. Oh, Randy Rimmer was down. Well, on the plus side, probably didn't feel much pain. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a problem. That's a problem. Discord will never forgive me. Move, 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 move. Please, frog, for fuck's sake. How long? Ooh, that was close. I felt the wind on that one, huh? Just kill it. Just kill it. Just kill it. Okay, that was a bit messy. Oh, poor sweet Randy Rimmer. Wow. How's your picnic going, huh? Having a good time over there? <laughs> oh, a coagulator. We know what those do, right? They cure all of your fresh wounds. That must be what that does. What? Oh. Releases coagulating factors in response to blood loss, reducing bleeding rate. Well, that doesn't make any sense because the coagulate ability on the sanguifages cures all wounds. Give me, a, give me a coagulator. Get out of my life. Give me that learning assistant too. I'll take the gold. Uh, how are we going to pay for all this stuff? You, well, I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm taking that. Probably wondering how we're going to pay for all this stuff. Well, it's the same way we've always paid for everything around here. <laughs> sure. Sure, why not? <laughs> just, a, just a giant dude. That's fine. Frog needs death rest. She's at 50% consciousness. I think having Frog just awake at 50% is better than no Frog at all. Right. We've got the Apocriton coming. The, the final one to get Doug's armor set. Oh, great timing. Just amazing. A pack of man-hunting polar bears have entered the region. Oh, you traitors. I have people queued up for the final round of stone skin glands, but I guess I probably won't bother. Come on, that's it. You can figure it out. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of polar bears. Okay, okay, okay. Draft up, draft up, draft up. Uh, let's get you over there, please. Shoot the polar bear. Please kill the polar bear. Nice. Okay. That was the easy part. Oh, hello. Well, that doesn't seem too terrible. Too diabolous. Oh, that's fine. Honestly, that's all right. Oh, I've got to see what that does. Rocket swarm launch. That sounds amazing. But it's probably going to... Oh, no, because the Apocrypha moved pretty fast. I bet that might hit. Shit, let's throw him down fast. Dog, it's a lot of stuff he's got to haul over. Oh, but he's done it. He just can't be contained. Wow, being forklift certified is like a bloody superpower, isn't it? And then we'll put flight there. Oh, I still want to spread our people out a little bit more. It's a bit dangerous. Um, You should be able to see them there, right? Because then we could do a little one block gap. All right, all filthy animal could just fuck off. It's the Lancer. Oh my God, it's recharging. No, 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 no. Come down now. Come down now. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, you can make all your weird little dial-up noises all you like. Ready, flight. I'm going to order the activation. Choose who should activate this. Flight can. And aim at... Can we, can we aim at the fella? Just aim there. Yes! Oh, that was a bit shit. <laughs> Kill it quick. Holy shit. 
43. Come on. Come on. 32. We get the others stunned, and then we can take out these before the Diablos get, even get through the maze. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, you are in Doug's playground now. <laughs> now we've just got to watch out for... Oh, that's not very kind. Oh my god, it's done the Militor. Oh no, my guy. Okay, dash forward. Just shoot it while you can. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it dead. Kill it dead. Shoot it now. Oh. Yeah, we should have seen that coming. And then we just go left to right. Left to right. Come on. Damon. Oh, Frog got hit by a uranium slug turret. Shit. <laughs> Who could have predicted that was going to happen? <laughs> I've just seen a terrible problem. I've just seen a terrible... Well, that was close. <laughs> yes. Oh, a little bit of tension. Get gra Grab them. Grab them. Lana. No, this is a problem. Shit. Oh, God. We've gotten so lucky twice in a row there. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. The fact that they're out of sync now is going to make this a real, real pain in the ass. Um, pull back. Oh, that's a problem. You actually survived. That's, that's a real problem. Did you just get hit by another slug turret? No. You ready? Slug turret hit on half. These fucking slug turrets. Fly. That's a bad direction, my friend. I'm sorry. I've got to try and save save numbers. I've got to save numbers. I've got to save numbers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe we can kill it. Maybe we can kill it. Please. It was it was like two shots off. It was t it was it was on five percent. They were ah. Oh, that was a roll of the dice. That was that was genuinely just getting unlucky. Oh my god, that's the last time we have to fight them though. That was that was the final raid. Okay, no one else is gonna die. That's unfortunate. Randy Rimmer, cool backer, and if I'm not mistaken, it was uh oh I mean Constantine died in one of those early uh Diablos raids. And then of course Ming herself. The worst part is, in that last raid, no one would have died. <laughs> if it wasn't for friendly fire. <laughs> you could argue though that if we didn't have the uranium slug turrets. They might not have taken out so many mechs, so it was a, it was a gamble. It was a, it was a calculated gamble. What are you still doing alive? Wow, they're pretty shit, aren't they? They are really terrible. Wow. But now all we need is twenty pieces of uranium, and then with that, it finally begins. Holy crap! That was so much sacrifice. Little, but <laughs> where did you put that? Ah. Little mech lord dog. At long last, the respect you deserve, my peacock friend. Bandwidth 3 out of 30. Bloody hell. Um, how are you expected to do that? That seems kind of ridiculous. I suppose we better start downloading some brains? I mean, it's just steel we need for it, right? Because it's ultimately just steel and components. Might as well scan in the whole colony, eh? Filthy Animal and Shelia are up next. And then we'll just keep... Keep churning out lances. Just, just keep. I mean, are they are they the best ones to make? I think so. Pikemen are too flimsy. Scorchers are no use because mechanoids are that are the problem. Scythers are going to get annihilated. Same with the tunnelers. I I think we just stick with making a shitload of lances. Sure. I think I'll probably get rid of the subcore and It's so bizarre that there's an entire building, entire workstation for a single low tier item that you might not even use. Holy shit! Oh. <gasps> I was looking at the skill trainers, but look, Arcotech replacements. Give me that. Side focus equipment. Oh, we've already that's, that's ours. We already own that. Great social, beautiful, never never sleep. I'll also take your skill trainer for it occurs to me those are mine as well. <laughs> we've got to we've got to stockpile filled with stuff. Now you're probably wondering how on earth are we going to afford all of this? And the answer is um, cold hard yayo. The same answer has been the last 15 times you've asked. I you think you'd stop asking at this stage. Old. That's going to bankrupt the colony, but honestly, it's worth it. Uh, where is it? Arcotet replacements. Psycho. Again, this is a mostly vanilla playthrough and Arcotet replacements. It only allows us to craft the base game Arcotet limbs. This isn't some fancy bionics mod. This isn't some massive expansion. Maybe a long time before we get the skulls. I'm sorry to do this. I've got to build the Grand Meditation Throne. You know what? If we slap it over there, it's not as offensive to the eyes 
as putting it right in the middle. I'll just have to redo the columns. Did that just say Bobka was ejected from Biovax? He's too old. 18. Bobka is here. Bobka, slate everybody. Wow. You're shit. <laughs> wow, that's really terrible. And background child and the adult who've given no stats whatsoever. That's pretty cruel. Um, wow, you're just really just terrible. Brilliant. Great investment. Really just great investment. What a character. Dog's probably forgotten he's even got a friggin' son at this stage. <laughs> now, somebody lost an arm, and I was going to replace it, but in hindsight, I'll probably just give him the Arcotech arm, given that Doug already has two Arcotech multi-arms. Um, wow, Damon lost an arm and a leg. Shit. You had a bad day, eh? Um, wait on that one. Let's give you the bionic leg and then an Arcotech arm in the right shoulder. Lanath can't even move. Oh, my God. Um, who's our doctor? Doctor... Doctor Damon, who doesn't have an arm. Right, yeah, there is a slight reciprocal problem here. <laughs> Lanath can't do the surgery on a cat not having any legs. Damon can't do the surgery on missing a leg and an arm. I mean, we could risk it with Damon, at least. That's uh, something. You know what? One out of two ain't bad. Oh my god. <laughs> 12 point six damage for a single stab wound. You almost killed Lanath. I mean we could try Dog. Dog at least has ridiculously good manipulation. That might make up for the terrible terrible medical skill. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he got a melee frenzy. There you go, see, I told you he'd nail it. Oh my god! What a guy! Oh a psychic ship! Hello, it's four centipede blasters and a pikeman? Really? Oh, and a centurion. I haven't seen those before. But you know what we have? Dog's own private little mechanoid army. I wish we could get some raiders from some actual people. Why did I ally with everybody? Now I can't rip scan anyone. But you know what? This does... We could breed our people and then rip scan their babies? Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long today's episode has gone on for to clarify. I, like, I normally have a good gauge of, yeah, I've got enough to turn this into a video. I have no clue. This could be 20 minutes. This could be four hours. Of, uh, I've been recording over the course of, like, the last 12 hours just just casually because I'm, I'm so busy with real life shit. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy little dog got his army. We need to repaint these lances, though. What's the plan now? A maxed out Mechanator? I mean, I, I will obviously continue to max him out. I'll give him his own little Lancer army. Try and upgrade him where we can. Maybe full Arco replacements for little Doug. All that really remains is wipe out the horrible piggy people. I understand the mechanics of biotech. I think that's fairly safe to say. I think I've got everything in line. I think I understand more or less how everything works. I don't think there's anything in particular I've missed. But if there is... Let me know. If there are things I should be looking out for, things I should be experiencing or taking a look at, then that would be fantastic before we dive into the first pro kind of proper themed biotech series coming very soonish. And as per usual, thank you for bearing with me. I know I keep saying that. Things are getting more and more complicated, and I know I keep saying that too, but they they are the people who are far, far beyond my abilities and the people I'm paying to resolve the problem for me <laughs> are making things worse. Thank you to, of course, the executive producer patrons making things possible in the first place. Thank you to Zach Bishop, Biv, Lee Zero, Shadow1317, Hanky Spanky, Black Frame, Jacob1, Ooh, Aromatic Fool, Assault Fox, Mon Mon Rage, APJ, Snathro, Harpio, Heckin' him the Lazy Asshole, Dexter Low, Izzy Claire, That Cato, Pokemon Backer, Nildreth, El Zilcho, Code Kai, Drostanus, Zero the Person, MGS to Tech Sound, Fexen. Taco Cat, Seven Wolf, Cesium, Waffles and Whiskey, Druta, and Five Cats for their support. The executive producer tears over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me here in, in Dog's Ascension to Mech Lord Peacock Supreme. Thank you as well to Captain Cuba, Coffee Fueled Siren Queen, Stomper, Daggets, Monty Slater, Roger Wilco, Tony, Told Tedith, Random Man 9989, Ben Beard, Master Shredder, Mitchell Skaggs, Luke Norgrove, Nidus, Raptor Mother, Zava, Hammy, Matthew Sensi, Moriak, Media Commutant, Richard Eckley, Aramis, Palindrome, Super Sad, Starship, Crafted Plates, and Red Racer B18. As well, see you all tomorrow. Presuming I get this done today. <laughs> and I don't die of heat stroke. It's winter, and my office is 35 degrees. And on the plus side, at least it's not summer. <sighs>